Gen Z is the loneliest demographic in the workforce. Why? And what can they do about it? So what's going on? Well, this is the youngest group of workers in the American workforce. And so by nature, they had their workflow interrupted severely early on in their professional journey by the pandemic when everybody went home and it took a while. And in some cases, uh, they're not back in the office. Some came into the workforce, into that environment. Think about the kids who graduated college in 2020 and 2021 and 2022. Some of them went straight into remote work. Now, they aren't soft. There's nothing wrong with them. I can't stand when, when, when people bang on certain generations as if there's something wrong with this generation or they're worse than the rest. No, it's not what's going on. But if you think about it, whether it's Gen Z, millennials, Gen X, boomers or beyond, we as humans were made to relate. We just were. Even the most introverted of us all, and I'm, a, I'm an extreme extrovert, but even the most introverted person on the planet needs to relate, needs to connect with humans. And so if you take eight hours a day, five days a week, and you are isolated working in an apartment, working in your home, you're not around other people, maybe even working in a coffee shop where, well, there are people, so that's better, and there's some good people watching, I'm sure. It makes the day more entertaining. But if I'm not interacting, there's still a hole. There's a void there, and that begins to weigh on us. Pretty fascinating stuff here from Microsoft. They did a remote work study. And it was for 60,000 Microsoft employees. So that's a huge sample size. And they surveyed those who transitioned from office work to remote work during the pandemic. And the overwhelming answer was all of them felt more siloed. In other words, if you think about a silo, it's this whatever looking, what do you call that? It's like a rounded off rectangular and it's got grain or corn in it, and it's all isolated, and that's all that's in there, right? That's the idea of being siloed. And when you're siloed, when you're isolated, you're not as accessible. And when you're not accessible and others aren't accessible to you, then you aren't making relationships and you aren't learning and growing and being encouraged from those relationships. And it appears as though remote work has hit Gen Z workers hardest. 79% of surveyed young adults age 18 to 24 reported feeling lonely. This is from a 2021-2022 study by Cigna. This is a real health issue. Earlier this year, Vivek Murthy, the U.S. Surgeon General, declared that loneliness, isolation, lack of connection, was a public health crisis noting that loneliness is associated with cardiovascular disease, dementia, stroke, depression, anxiety, and premature death. Wow. We were made to relate. And when we aren't relating, we aren't operating at our full capacity, and things begin to break down. Not to mention, when you aren't around people as a young worker, older people, Co-workers, here's what you're missing out on specifically. You're missing out on collaboration, which is huge. It's not as good remote as it is in person. You're missing out on true connection. You're missing out on mentoring opportunities. You're missing out on competition. All of those things make you better, which means you move up the ladder faster. You make more money and you get an opportunity because of your growth to step into the role that you were created to fill. Hey, listen, I'm not anti-remote work. I know people who crush it in that role. I do it from time to time when I have to be off-site. It's not about remote and the function of work. It's about remote and not being able to relate to your coworkers, and it's killing us slowly.